Okay, everybody, let's crochet. Today we're going to make a wine glass lanyard, as you saw in the pictures before uh, the video. And here's the materials you're going to need. A pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and a little piece of thicker paper bent in half that will fit through the eye of the needle. That's how we're going to sew in our ends. That's how we're going to get the yarn through the needle. And next we're going to need, now I'm choosing to use two different colors. You can use uh, two of the same color. We're going to do this double stranded. And so these are my choices. Uh, this is sugar and cream. They're both size four cotton. I like the cotton because it won't stretch out when you're wearing it around your neck. Um, so this is size four and this is Lily sugar and cream. It's 95 yards and the color is jewels. And then this one I just got from uh, Dollar General. I think it was it they now have yarn this is 120 yards and I don't know if they list a color on this but uh, it's a grayish color but you choose whichever two colors you like and like I said you can do it with acrylic it just may stretch out acrylic has a tendency sometimes to stretch you're also going to need a six and a half can you see that six and a half millimeter crochet hook and I'm a fan of the Susan Bates I just like a plain metal crochet hook so let's get started we're going to hold these two strands together as if they were one and if you've never done that before, it may take a little, uh, a little work, but you'll get, you'll get used to it. So we need our slip knot. And this is a nice, simple, quick pattern, fun for anybody that goes to uh, wine festivals or just for a party. So we start out with a chain of 15. Then we're going to make sure our chain is nice and straight with the thicker double stranded. It's easy to do and it's not that long of a chain. And we're going to slip stitch down here into our very first chain slip stitch pull the yarn through both and now we formed our ring okay let me get some more yarn here and now we're going to chain one and single crochet back into that slip stitched and we're going to do a single and notice I'm going over top of my tail just for a little bit one more single crochet and the next chain is going to get two single crochets back in that same one and another single now I'm gonna put those tails off to the back they'll have to get weaved in better I just like to go over them a little bit and so that is our pattern for this round 
it's going to be two one single crochet one single crochet and then two in the next one sorry if I'm going out of camera this is my first first filming tutorial here we go two so it's one one two one one two okay I'll meet you here when we get around to the end and so here's what we have we're at the end two single crochets in there and then we're going to slip stitch into our first our first stitch and this is a little tight there we go slip stitch you should have 20 20 single crochets around we're going to chain four this is round two this chain four is going to count as a double crochet chain one and now we're going to double crochet back into that same stitch now we're going to skip that next stitch and we're going to do a V stitch into the second stitch there skip and a V stitch a V stitch is a double crochet chain one and another double crochet right back into that same stitch and this is what it's looking like so far so we're going to do it again this is our repeat we skip the next stitch and right in there we're going to double crochet chain one and I have a helper dog hello stormy hello stormy we're crocheting baby <laughs> okay first we're gonna pet okay now that we've been petted let's see where were we double crochet chain oh and we have it we have a double crochet there and a chain one we're going to double crochet right back into that same stitch and so now we have three v stitches one two and three so we're going to do it again skip v stitch And continue on to the end of the round and I'll meet you back here when we're when we're at the end look at how pretty those colors are looking together we're at the end here we have one more V stitch to put in we're skipping that stitch we're gonna V stitch into that one and then that's our skipped stitch before our first V stitch of the round so let's get our V stitch in there double crochet chain one and a double crochet right back into that same same stitch now we want to go to the third chain one two three and that's the one we're going to slip stitch into remember that's counting as our double crochet so there we are round two complete and now we're going to slip stitch into this chain space and start the process again four chains one two three and four and that is going to count as our double crochet and chain one 
So now we need our double crochet right back into that space. This time we're working into the chain one spaces. So there's our first V stitch of the round. We're going to do another one right in this space right here. Our chain one space. So our V stitch is double crochet. Chain one. And double crochet right back into that space. Just like that. One more time. We're going to find our V stitch and we're going to work in that chain space right in between. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Beautiful. Okay, so we will work that all the way around until we come back to the beginning and I'll meet you there. Okay, so here we are. We have one more V stitch to place right there. And this round will have the same number as the last round. So we should have 10 V stitches in this round. Okay, so we have round one, which was our single crochet, round two, our V stitches, round three, another set of V stitches. We're going to slip stitch into the third chain. So one, two, and three. There's our slip stitch. Pull it through, pull through again. And then we're going to slip stitch one more time to get into the middle of that V. And we're going to start this round the same way. We chain four. It's count as our double crochet and our chain one. So there's our four double crochet right back into that same chain one space and this round is a repeat of the last so we're going to v-stitch in all of our chain one spaces and v-stitch is double crochet chain one double crochet so let's get going i'll meet you at the end of this round okay so i've made it to the end of this round this is our round four. We have one, two, three, and four. And here's our chains. And we're going to slip stitch into the third one and finish off this round. So right like that. And here we go. Look at that. Now we're going to start our last round. Simple. We're going to do the same thing. Slip stitch into that chain space and chain four. double crochet right back into that chain space and that's our first V stitch and now we're going to do the same thing V stitch into the chain space double crochet chain one and a double crochet and there we have it we're going to continue that round and I'll meet you back at the end we'll put our strap on to hang it around our neck and there we go look at looking good we'll also get a wine glass and and fit it up and make sure make sure we did we did a good job with it okay meet you back at the end and here we go I've come to the end of this last round our fifth round so we have one round of the single crochet and then one two three and four rounds of the V stitches. So we're going to finish this round up by slip stitching into the third chain. One, two, and three. And then we're going to slip stitch into that chain space. And now we're going to make the lanyard part of our wine glass holder. So we're going to chain 80. Now you can make this, this is the strap for around the neck, you can make this as long or as short as you want it. I think 80 for me, it seemed like a good size, but feel free to adjust it up or down either way. 
So let's chain 80. Okay, so now that we have our 80 chains, we're going to take and attach this strap. <clears throat> so we have, here's where we started. We're going to go over five. One, two, three, four, and five. And this is the fifth one. We're going to slip stitch to attach our lanyard piece. There we go. And now we'll cut our yarn, tie off. And tighten that up. And there we have it. We'll get a wine glass and test it. There's our strap and the holder itself. We'll test it and then we'll tie in our, we'll uh, tuck in our ends. We'll be ready for the wine fest. Okay, so we have our wine glass. And let's just see how it fits here. Perfect. Ready for the wine fest. Let's tuck those ends in and make it look pretty. Okay, so we have our little piece of paper and I'm gonna turn this inside out so that we tuck our ends in on the inside where they won't be as visible. And we take our paper, wrap it around these ends, yarn needle, and slide it right on. Here we go. Ready to tuck in those ends. And I just weave them back and forth a couple of times. And that should hold them secure. Oh boy. It's a tough one when there's two strands. There we go. Beautiful. Cut those ends off. And now we'll do this tail. Remember we turned it inside out, so we're good to go. Get our ends together. Put them in that paper, right like that. Get the yarn needle, and the yarn needle should slide right on there. And the paper I used, it's a little thicker. I just cut pieces off of the labels. They wear out after a while, and I just cut new pieces. When I get good thick labels, I cut a couple so that I have them. But to me, it makes it much easier. And this end will just weave down. And take it back up. And down one more time. There we go. Don't forget, that's on the inside. Snip them off. Flip it back around. And there we go. Excellent. Ready to roll. Let's put the glass back in there. There we go. Perfect. 
Thanks for joining me. See you next time.